what is going on guys chase back with another video liquidation salvation that's the channel we're here in the warehouse warehouse market in west tennessee and uh, i'm just waiting here to receive a 18 wheeler load of um amazon small so we've got 26 is what it should be 26 pallets on this truck coming um just got a call from the uh, truck driver he's i think about five or ten minutes out uh maybe a little a little less than than 10 minute range but i'm just uh waiting for him to get here got the door open uh there by the loading dock like that sun's coming in you can't really see it but anyway just waiting on him when we get here we will be uh unloading this truck the amazon smalls and uh yeah then we'll have a lot of work to do processing through this stuff we'll be sorting through um, some stuff that might go out into the bin store um, some stuff that'll go into the store itself um, some stuff that'll go on to eBay, you guys. So, yeah, we're just waiting for the truck to get here, and then we will have some uh, some work to do. We'll have to get this truck unloaded. That way we can uh, get to processing this truck. Looking forward to see what we get. Hopefully it's a good load, you guys. Pray. Keep your fingers crossed, because we're about to find out. Catch you guys in a minute, and you'll be able to see exactly what we get. Loaded. We've got everything in the warehouse. In fact, uh, we were able to sort of start sorting and going through some of the pallets. We got about 10 pallets sorted through today out of the 26. So we got, um, say, tw what is that, 16 more to go? Yeah, we should have 16 more pallets to go through. Um, we've knocked out 10 today, so it is the next day, as you could see from the, the change of clothes that I'm in. Um, but anyway, we did get 10 pallets um, kind of gone through today and, and somewhat processed. Uh, and when I say somewhat processed, what we did today and what we will continue to do tomorrow, um, for the most part anyway, is we're going through these pallets and, and sourcing, not sourcing, but separating um, the ways that we're going to sell these items. So some of the stuff may end up into the bin store um, and then some of it um, for sure is going to end up in the the local um, retail side store of it. So where we're at now, this part of the warehouse with the, the commercial shelving, the actual store part of it, you can sort of see around me sort of some of the, the stuff. We've got some empty shelves around here right now because we're resetting some of the stuff in the store. And um, obviously we're getting room for a lot of all, a new stuff to go out as well because we have obviously just received a huge truckload of 26 pallets um, and on top of that we've got a, a couple Costco truckloads and I'm still putting some stuff together and, and processing some of that here as well so we got the Costco in started working on that got a lot of stuff out sold quite a bit but there's still more to go um, but we've put that on hold because this truckload came in and right now we want to focus on this so um, that's kind of where we're at that's kind of what's going on here in uh in my world what we are working on um so anyway you guys i wanted to quickly show you some of the the stuff that we got on these pallets i'm not going to spend a long long time and go through all these pallets and show you like everything that's in an entire pallet right now because i just want to show you the idea of what it looks like to get liquidation pallets like this what is um the just or the basics what do you 
uh, kind of expect to see on pallets like this. So these again um, are Amazon Smalls. So they're smaller type items. You can have some medium stuff kind of mixed in with some of this Amazon Smalls, but um, for the, the biggest majority of everything, it's smaller items. It doesn't mean it's not worth something. Now, don't get me wrong, some of it is cheap stuff, you guys. Some of it's worth, you know, two, three, four, five, ten bucks. And then some of it's worth 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks. And then you're going to find, uh, you know, a few, you know, above, you know, home run items. I mean, you're going to find some of that too. But don't think that these pallets are filled with that because they're not. Um, one pallet may be better than the other. May, one pallet might have several great winning items, home runs, high ticket items. Um, whether it's a, a larger item or a smaller item, that really doesn't matter. We're talking about money value right now, you guys. So uh, when I say home runs, I'm talking about it's worth some bank. It's worth some money. So again, um, you know, some pallets are, are not so great. Some pallets are really good. Overall, our pallets are, are pretty consistent on on being you know pretty good like most of these pallets so they're not like one super home run that's full of great electronics that's all going to sell on ebay uh ebay we you know we don't we don't get pallets usually like that um, but then again we we don't usually get a pallet that's a complete dud either from um the liquidator and broker that i'm dealing with on these particular pallets from this particular load but um again You'll get some some cheap stuff. You'll get some 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 great home runs in there. You know, every truckload that I've got, we have received both. You know, small, cheap. You know, dollar, two, three dollar items, five dollar items, um, and then we we get you know a bunch of twenty, thirty, forty, fifty dollar items. It's great for the store. Um, some of those that are easy to ship on eBay go on eBay as well. Um, and then of course those super home running items. You know, those high end ticket items. Um, usually end up going on eBay um, unless it's just not worth shipping or we want to bring it uh, to the local level to bring customers in the door here um, in the in the retail side of things so in the store um, but you can get just a little bit of anything I want to show you guys just a basics of what you can get um, we we get some different stuff in on these loads you're gonna see stuff like electronics um, some a little bit larger electronics a lot of small electronics um, you're going to get some home decor items. You're going to get a bunch of phone accessories. So what I mean by that is phone cases. Some of them um, you might see an otter box or so in there. Some of them are just going to be, you know, cheap Chinese made phone cases. But it doesn't mean they won't sell. Not that they're really usually worth listing on eBay. But on the local level, yeah, you can you can sell them for a few bucks a piece. And, and it adds up pretty good. So, um, you know they do sell you're going to get phone cords you're going to get a lot of phone accessories in general when i'm talking about electronics but you do get some nicer pieces as well a lot of it is kind of generic stuff chinese made you know private label stuff from amazon but you do find some branded good stuff in there too i'm not going to say that you don't because you do and we've we've got some of it ourselves um but you're going to see a lot of unbranded or not necessarily not all of it's unbranded but it's just cheaper branded stuff but even some of the stuff that's maybe not sony bose apple you know those big top brands um some of the stuff that's on amazon they still kind of brand themselves some of this per, um private label stuff they brand themselves kind of high and you know it brings it some of the stuff actually you know brings pretty good money and even on ebay you'll find stuff like that but electronics, phone accessories, home decor, you're, you'll find picture frames, you'll find knives like this. I'll show you guys these. We've got a, actually got a couple of them um, right on top of this pallet right here. So, you know, I'm not gonna say this is, I don't really know this name. So I don't know if this is a super high-end knife or not. I just have to spend the time to look it up, but I don't think it's super high-end, but decent quality, you know, great little item. So, um, you know, if it's selling for decent money on eBay, we might sell it on eBay. If not, you know, we can get a decent bit um, here locally for this. So a win-win for us either way. Um, you can sell this stuff locally. You can sell some of it on eBay as well. The way that we try to do it to make the biggest home run at this point because this load we're not doing so much of the bin store we're doing our bin store sales ever so often so we're not the typical bin store if you've watched previous videos we do have a bin store that operates on the other side of the building through that that black hole on the other side there that is a whole other side of the warehouse 
Um, so it's, it's, it's over there. I promise you guys, it's just the lights are off. So anyway, um, we do do a bin, we do do, we do a bin sale, you know, but we're doing that kind of a bin liquidation sale, uh, model, um, about every three months. So we had our first sale. We decided, yeah, it's, you know, we can make money. It's fun. The community likes it. It brings people out. But at the same time, it's just, we don't want to do that all the time. It's a lot of work and we kind of like taking our time going through the stuff. We like working the eBay, the online model, um, really the best. That's probably my favorite way of doing it. Don't get me wrong, love my local um, home group customers. Some of them are like family. But at the same time, we love doing the eBay. I personally really love doing the eBay anyway. Um, and then, you know, we're open to the public every week, three days a week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday here in West Tennessee, um, Parsons, Tennessee to be exact, um, you know, at Warehouse Market. So that's that's us, you know. But um, that's kind of our model. So we will take stuff, we'll sell it locally, you know, we'll look stuff up. We, we, we probably gonna sell everything that sells in the store 40 to 50% off retail, because we want people to come here. We want to give people the incentive to come here and shop with us locally, because their, their dollar's gonna go a lot further, and that's what brings them in the door, that big savings. Um, but we make, we can make really great money at that, so. Um, sometimes you might even find stuff that's under 50% off and then there might be a few things It's you know again only that 40% because you know It's it's a good item when and the market will bring a little bit more than the 50% off retail. So um, That's kind of kind of how we structure it um, Basically a lot of the times here on the local level of course if it's on eBay, we're getting top dollar We're gonna list it for what the market's bringing on eBay. We might be you know, a few dollars cheaper here or there than some of the market if, if we can afford to do so. But also we don't want to bring the market down on particular items. So we'll pretty well, you know, list the stuff um, for what it is. But anyway, let's jump into this. And, and instead of explaining everything of what we're doing in the process, I want to really show you what you can get and let you see it with your own eyes on this video. So again, you'll get a little bit of everything. Um, food and coffee is one of them. So here's some Keurig. Um, coffee cups. I, this is brand new, un, unopened box, case packed here. Um, so you know that's that's items you get. You do. We've we've seen a lot of coffee stuff in these pallets. You'll see a lot of coffee. You will see some candy boxes, some food. Um, again, you'll see knives. We we get quite a few knives in there. Um, sometimes you'll you'll see um, just different stuff, a lot of puzzles, you know, but it's brand new. We'll get a few bucks out of that here on the local level. You'll see vitamins and supplements and stuff like that. Um, you know, here's just, I don't even know what this is. You'll probably see it before I do. But anyway, you know, it's just different stuff. Um, you know, here's a here's a whole saw kit, brand new wrapper on it. You know, we, we could look that name up, might be a win for eBay. And then again, we might just decide to sell it here locally. Um, you can get garden stuff. You know, we've been seeing some garden outdoor stuff come through these Amazon small pallets lately. Um, here's a bottle warmer. You'll see stuff like that for kids and baby stuff. Um, you know, bottle warmers is something that you see quite a bit. Um, another baby item here. So you just see a mixture of different stuff, really, you guys. Um, you know, here's another baby item. But just to go and give you a scan over the pallets, you know, here's, you're seeing a lot of face masks right now come through. Like something like this is, is a pretty good item, but something like this is not so great. Now we can sell this and get a few, two or three bucks for it, but it's not worth a whole lot of money at this time. Um, you know, the pandemic is winding down, especially in our area. So some areas it might be a little more going on, but you know, here it's it's kind of winding down. Here's another knife. I don't know if you can really see much about it, but that's a knife. So we're just kind of scan through, you know, see. Um, oh, that looks like a pretty nice watch. So there's a nice looking watch, electronic type um, piece, you know. Let's see. So, yeah, now, you know, that could be something worth some money. You guys look that up if you got a minute, see what that's worth, because I have no idea yet. I'll find out in the next day or two, but at this point, I have no idea. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is just kind of a scan to give you guys an idea. Again, I don't want to make this video go on and on too long. You'll see some kids' toys, you know, here's a brand new truck and things like that. Um, so you'll see pet food, dog food, stuff like that. Here's some grill mats. 
Uh, we got some outdoor lights. I've been seeing a few outdoor lights like this come through these pallets. We've got some grill hoses. Um, just a mixture of some plastic bottle sprayers. It's a cheaper item, but we'll sell it locally. Um, and then, you know, it's just a mixture, guys. I, I can keep keep saying that, but just to, to pan over and show you, here's some candy boxes. Again, you'll find some of this stuff. Um, it's just a big mixture of stuff. Here's some of these infrared, I think, like um, no contact thermometers. Um, those will sell good here locally. I mean, we've sold some on eBay in the past, but um, here's a kid's jacket. And here's a pallet that we've emptied out. So that's one of the 10 that we got emptied out right there, you guys. Uh, looks like there's one item in it still. But yep, so um, let's see what we've got. You know, we've got just a lot of different stuff. Some's cheaper, some's higher end. It's, it's just, here's a dog collar thing. Um, it's just a mixture of stuff. You, you, you don't really, you know, know what's coming until you just get it and see it. But this is, you know, there's some like duct tape stuff. Um, metal signs, you'll get a few of those. It's just a big mix, you guys. So, um, cheap stuff like, you know, that's not worth anything. We'll probably throw that little dude away to be honest with you guys. But then you get, you know, you get some pretty good stuff. And then in somewhere in the pallet, you'll find a few, you know, really good items overall. So, I mean, I'm not saying every pallet's gonna have it, but most of the ones we seem to go through, we find some pretty good stuff. But in the end, all of this stuff really, really adds up. And, um, you know, there's HBA stuff in here, health, beauty, supplements, items too. You know, it's just, just different stuff, you know, smart lights, um, things like that. So, it is just a big mixture. You know, here's some some of this stuff. There's a couple, couple bottles of that. But, yeah, you guys, you know, it's just a mixture of stuff. Um, but that's kind of what these Amazon pallets, these smalls consist of. It's just a mixture of general merchandise, really. Um, there's cheap items, and then there's some some pretty decent items, and then there's some home runs mixed in with it. So you just have to take it all when you get it. But that's going to be it. That's going to show you pretty much kind of what to expect on an Amazon Smalls high count, high piece count um, pallet or truckload. Um, again, different loans change all the time. What you'll find in them is going to be different. You find a lot of the similar type items. Um, at least that's what I find with the loads that I get. Um, but they are, you know, it changes up. So it's not like you're going to get the exact item, you know, every truckload. That just, that's not liquidations, you guys. That's not really how it works. So don't go with that mindset if you buy these. But um, overall, we can do, we do pretty well with them. So, you know there's a lot of good stuff um, and if you sell both locally and online then you can maximize those profits as well at least that's what I think that's our model so anyway wanted to show you guys some of the pallets that came in and and if you're interested in buying a pallet to resell this type of stuff um, whether you have flea market booth a local store or maybe you just want to sell on eBay um, these you know you're not gonna be able to sell everything on eBay with these pallets it's just not the model um, but you can definitely pull some pretty good stuff out of them for online um, for eBay so anyway hope you guys got some entertainment and some knowledge out of this and I will catch you guys in the next one Shh.